Hello guys, uh, Kevin's202 here, holy buckets of cheese, when was the last time I uploaded a video? <laughs> uh, ever since that random um, vomity Kev's thing. Uh, let's see. Where the hell am I going? Okay, I'm gonna go to my channel. Oh yeah, it's been <laughs> another random upload since I did the little drive cam hack. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Uh, holy shit. I have started my YouTube channel eight years ago. Uh, my very first upload video would be uh, Sandrea's uh, Invisible Machine Guns. That was because back in the day I used to install a lot of cheats on my Grand Theft Auto Sandrea's. I had lots of fun with it, along with the other mods and shit. <laughs> it was pretty cool. And you can probably hear my dad, uh, his phone conversation with the other, some of his friend in Vietnamese. Sadly, I don't speak Vietnamese. <laughs> but, yeah, eight years ago. Which was at around October 9th, 2011. Damn. All but gold. I remember eight years ago. Eight years ago when. Actually, it, it could be um, more. A little bit like a year extra ago. Because um, it was like before I created my YouTube channel for, you know, subscription likes and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, um, that was like I have actually started YouTube at a... Well, it started... Ah, I don't <laughs> Ah, I'm not a good talking person like the other talking youtubers <laughs> it's not it's probably worse than the um, my older video of the talking thing of magic but anyways <clears throat> eight years ago um, no fuck <laughs> uh, this is 2019 well shit the 2010s is about to end Ooh, what a time to go by anyways Nine years ago, at around 2010 or 2009, when I kind of first stumbled upon YouTube, uh, the whole experience of that time was completely different as compared to now. Uh, I will explain that later, but. <clears throat> uh, back in let's say 2010 there were a lot of liveliness uh, I could say uh, there are a lot of <laughs> like a, so much fun communities going on for you know, people get too popular later on. It was like, um, it, it kind of feel like a home, small community where, uh, basically you're like, just got off from school, um, had enough dealing with, <laughs> you know, some crabby teachers some crabby teachers, I wouldn't say all of them, 
but you might have some pretty cool teacher who might uh, show YouTube videos back in the day too so that's a thing um, yeah it, it, it kind of feels like that several years ago uh, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah I'm pretty sure this cheap mic could actually pick up my dad's conversation uh, so you don't have to worry about that uh, let's see it's really hard to get this all of it in my head especially without having to go um, looking for cues I I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna say like Kevin just fucking google it already <laughs> but uh, sometimes Google right now can be a bitch when it comes to search results and it's like not what you're exactly looking for as it used to be a while ago so yeah no <laughs> uh, Google YouTube uh, yeah I mean if I really wish I could remember how I got into YouTube back then was because uh, say for example uh, when I first uploaded my video CJ's invisible machine guns um, that was kind of a start where I thought it was pretty funny to share things like that uh, but basically um, my channel wasn't popular and it's still not popular as of now. <laughs> uh, it's kind of, it, it just kind of makes me feel like I should keep a memory on well, whatever I'm going to do with that video. So I thought just slap it on YouTube and maybe I can get some good shares of the opinions and stuff. Uh, sometimes I get some positivities and there's that one video where I got like over a thousand views and got seven dislikes for um, making a shitty ass YouTube video. It's, uh, I don't know if it's worth your time watching it, but go ahead just for the cringe. Uh, it was like how to replace a wireless mouse battery, but uh, I'm just gonna spoil you right there. Um, at the end of the video, I just like cut it off of half of it I don't know why I don't remember it I did remember all I did remember was I uploaded it on my iPad camera and that's it I just don't know what the fuck happened to it <laughs> oh boy. Uh. let's see I'm still trying to think what I'm trying to talk here. So, this is going to be a raw upload, isn't it? Yep, it is. I'm just going to do it just to speak out of um, the moments I've enjoyed uh, since 2010. And there might be some rough times on it too. Just here to say, before the new year of 2020, baby. Yeah. But I think this is going to be uh, solely focused on YouTube, my experience with YouTube. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think I summarized about it. It wasn't clear. But... At least, hopefully, I got the gist of it. That's self saying. Perhaps you guys too. <laughs> and, hmm. Yeah, and as elite years goes on since my beginning of YouTube, um, I've noticed there are some changes, like, you know, new terms of service. 
uh, yeah, and monetizations, which back then I was really no interested in doing, making money or anything because <laughs> I wasn't really interested in doing one of those trendy things, as per se. Um, but somehow um, it drove very few of my creators to forcefully do these kinds of monetization. I may not be right of what I'm trying to say here, but yeah, now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, a couple of years later, since my YouTube experience, there's like monetization, new terms of service for um, uh, things starts to change. I think it was like around 2015 later uh, where I've noticed that I am starting to lose my favorite creators on YouTube, like um, the channels I've subscribed to. Um, it's either, uh, there are like most reasons for it. Um, number one I could think of um, is not having to do with the um, YouTube uh, demonetization or anything like that. That's not my one, number one reason. My number reason in my head is because they just simply grew old and just got uh, kind of like a graduation feeling that they're ready to move on to a new life, which I really... Uh, Wait, why did I space on that shit? <laughs> Which I really, uh, I gotta find a word that says okay. Not the word that is not okay, but like, like I'm okay with it. It's just that I need to generate a better way of saying, like I'm okay with this. But it, it's more like I'm really grateful to these people. Yeah, there we go. I'm really grateful to um, one of my creators that moved on, got a little bit tired. And then there might be some time where they can come back and do some fun things again on their channel. It's their channel, not mine. So nobody gets to uh, decide the fate here. It's their own fate, their own decision. Choices have consequences. Yada yada yada. Okay. <clears throat> uh, where else? So yeah, that's my number one reason. And then the YouTube revenue apocalypse somewhere in 2017. That's, I think that's my number two reason for it. Uh, that, yeah, that could be my, uh, another reason why. Mm, hang on, water break. <clears throat> um, yeah, the apocalypse starts with, um, <laughs> I really haven't been interesting in, well, I was, but I really haven't gotten the update with the apocalypse and stuff during school time, which was around like 2016, 17-ish, so... Yeah, those were like my senior high school times where I was like, come on, I need to get out of there before <laughs> I'm stuck in that system. Yeah. But no need to worry about that. Anyways. Um, uh, basically, the uh, apocalypse kind of like started where uh, YouTube has updated their terms of service about uh, child's privacy or something that they have to comply with the uh, New York's FTC laws and stuff like that. Uh, those are some of the uh, these rumors I've heard through sites. Oh, my dad's getting closer. Going with the conversation and stuff. Oh well. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's quite. Anyways. Damn, this is getting really awkward. It's for all as long as I can speak. I thought this would get a little bit better, but it's not really worth it. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. But my YouTube channel is random. And yeah. So, I'll just a heads up. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm pretty sure my audacity picks that sound from my dad's phone conversation. Um, in case if you're wondering what mic I'm using, I'm using a uh, some sort of like a sound card that's installed with a microphone, like a, a external output sound card from Sound Blaster. Um, it's for like one of these little. Uh, 5.1 surround system port for my uh, Logitech 5.1 surround speakers and yeah, it works out pretty good and yeah but the microphone yeah, they're okay to say the least anyways uh, <laughs> here's this conversation again uh, Okay. Um, I thought wearing headphones would cancel out that kind of noise, but I guess it doesn't work. I keep getting distracted by my dad's conversation. Uh, that's right. I got this. Oh, I got this. Uh, let's see. What else? I'm still thinking. Oh. Right, I think it has something to do with how I lost my creators and stuff. So I think I was at the point where the demonetization and stuff. So, yeah. And then there's a third one that the reason why I'm losing my creators is because naturally they've changed the way like their contents to the ones that I really don't seem to enjoy it anymore. It's basically because I have my own personal taste and you can say my taste is shit or if someone likes my taste then sure that sounds fucking wrong. Jeez. <clears throat> but yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry, I sound really nervous. Just let you know. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, that's about it. Like, there are three reasons. One, uh, my creators have moved on, graduated from their best creativities and decided to move on like a hiatus um, I could probably say inactivity counts as well um, that that inactivity goes all for three reasons uh, another reason is uh, the demonetization could actually kill my favorite YouTube creator channels and the third one is they changed the way that I didn't find it enjoying so um, it's part of a natural thing to say and um, yeah those are that and then if I remember correctly what I'm trying to do is uh, let's see. So if I already explain with my little experience with my YouTube channel just a bit, and then I also explain with uh, 
the uh, how I lose my favorite creators and then <laughs> the next one I think is how I enjoy uploading YouTube well as you could probably tell I <laughs> really don't but I do sometimes just for shits and giggles that's what my channel is for randomness they're not they don't really have a purpose but I guess YouTube doesn't like that anymore as it comes to uh, holy shit I think it's come to either tomorrow or the 10th where that new term of service is something about removing your videos if they don't see you making money worthy for the advertising or whatsoever um, yeah that's what I kinda wanna say here as kind of a bit of a goodbye I really don't wanna say goodbye to my all of my work that I made like f since from day one it's it's basically my memory of how I've uh, enjoyed YouTube with me and my friends and all these other varieties it's basically uh, I, I enjoyed these varieties really but um, YouTube's new variety uh, as of now it's kind of sh trying to shutting my old stuff out and I don't know if it has something to do with their server space which I kind of doubt it is because they have like a huge load of servers that um, they could somehow find a way to compress that too but it's YouTube and Google and it's their choices there they get to do whatever the heck they want they are not really here for most of the majority uh, creators voices and so do mine I guess uh, it's just that um, what, what I'm trying to say is as compared from eight years back to YouTube and YouTube nowadays it's not really the YouTube I used to know and it's it's like people most um, YouTube channels are really bigger than mine of course they they always said the same thing too and yeah we all generally agreed with it it's just that YouTube isn't the same experience as what it used to be back then but here's one thing here, here's one thing that um. Dad, I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> uh, he just opened up the door for a little bit. Uh, anyway, sorry for the interruption. <laughs> oh, that was great. <sighs> Anyways, um, YouTube isn't the same YouTube as I used to know eight years ago. Same goes to the people who have known YouTube for quite a while, probably even more than I do, who has known YouTube since YouTube has launched its own uh, video streaming sites. So, it's been different. Oh, yes. However, there is like one community... Um, it's kind of like a community group sort of thing that I kind of considered it still alive and stuff. I wouldn't say memes as a mainstream part of it, but it kind of sounds like you guys would want to say it's a meme. But uh, the thing that keeps YouTube to me, uh, in my opinion, that's my opinion only, alive uh, would be... YouTube poops. That's right. YouTube poops. They, <laughs> uh, they have uh, the most talented uh, creators that love to make the parody version of the original um, TV shows, for example, 
like YouTube put SpongeBob. That was a thing. I think it's still going around pretty well. And um, there are some really good um, YouTube poop channels that I've watched through with. And um, maybe I like to mention some of it, but I haven't heard from them for a while because, of course, uh, there are like three or five reasons that uh, my creators are going through this. So, yeah. Uh, but I, I think there are some very few uh, channels that are pretty entertaining to me. Uh, now, if you're gonna... If you're gonna ask me about PewDiePie, I think... I, I wouldn't say he's bad or he's really good I'd say he's he, he's alright <laughs> it, it, it sounds pretty terrible when I uh, answer that I guess jeez uh, PewDiePie's alright uh, in, in terms of his um contents and stuff but at the same time um I've actually liked PewDiePie's um, success in his channel, like like uh, subscribers milestones, for great example. Like PewDiePie is like I don't know if I should say the first um, single user channel to reach a million subscribers, a uh, hundred million subscribers. That <laughs> jeez, Kev. And I'd say that's pretty damn cool. Uh, better than any other cable TV companies that have like a ridiculously amount of subscribers. Jeez, and that's where the problem is with YouTube. Really, uh, is that they brought cable TVs into their video streaming site. It's it's a problem to me. I'm pretty sure it's a problem to anyone else too. Like, why do they bring like mainstream media such as um, what can I think of? Uh, TBS, Fox, CNN, uh, uh, I guess maybe Adult Swim could be an exception for this. I guess they upload a fairly good content on YouTube. Uh, there's another. Oh yes, about movie streaming site, uh, movie trailers, uh, from like um, movie producer companies like Sony Pictures, uh, stuff like that. Th those guys, yeah, they kind of ate my whole viewing experience, and and their advertisements. I'm not really gonna bitch about it that much I mean of course they're fucking annoying to deal with but uh, but that's not the case here about ads and stuff but like uh, when you go to the trending page or t even at your home page um, they have like this number one trending where there's like movies trailers official music videos and that really killed my uh, uh, viewing experience as of why I starting to not like YouTube as I used to it's not what I used to know <laughs> I mean I, 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 I'm kind of speaking like this in like really slow choppy language because uh, it takes bits and time even though I like to record it in raw it takes bits and time for me to remember what I'm trying to say here and try to keep it organized <laughs> so yeah and let's see yeah oh. 
I just literally forgot what I was gonna say. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, because I have like half of the knowledge of what's going on with YouTube is because I was, you know, just a regular boy doing school stuff and doing his own things of stuff like jobs, home, family, all those kinds of things taken care of first. Oh shit, my screen's going to sleep. Oh, there we go. <sighs> and... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I have the half of the knowledge of what's going on with YouTube. And I'm pretty sure anybody else is... Do, does know what's really going on with YouTube, so that's that. All I'm trying to say here in this point of this podcast, I guess you call it. I don't want to say a podcast, but like a long ass audio recording here, or eh, whatever. Uh, basically, um, this is about my eight years experience with YouTube, so. Um, I, I've seen a couple other videos like two years ago prior to um, the apocalypse and how YouTube is changing and stuff. I, I've seen a couple bits and pieces, especially from PewDiePie's too, as far as I remembered. Uh, yeah, but um, this one here is it, just my... Uh, personal opinion with how I experienced YouTube for eight years and um, yeah I mean, first of all I have like very few subscribers I'm not looking forward to I'm not really looking for to be like you know one of these trendy 150k subscribers with hey guys please like it comment and subscribe to my video and i'll give you this 20 uh, percent off merch and uh i think i used to be like that just for shits and giggles a while ago but um in like 2011 12 ish i was like hey please like subscribe comment share I guess <laughs> and maybe I'll probably make more videos instead of like flexing off the merch like any most other youtubers would do shit <laughs> uh, yeah it feels different that's all I could say it, it just feels different and uh, I'm just a 21 year old dude uh, still looking back into YouTube I guess well, well what am I saying uh, I shouldn't really bitch about my age <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't matter what age you're watching on YouTube it's whatever um, how you experience with YouTube that's the most important part and how long you've experienced with YouTube as well so I guess that's quite a bit of that. So, um, yeah, this is an uncleared, unfiltered raw of this recording, and uh, if you. <laughs> If you happen to stumble upon this video, do whatever you like with it, I guess. Like, dislike, comment, whatever. Uh, it, it's gonna sound really boring to you in this whole recording, honestly. I already knew this, but I, I just, I, I, I just wanna uh, try to voice it out here and express my feeling towards the YouTube community and sure I might 
receive some pretty good positivity feedback and sometimes I'll get a shit ones that I'll be like you know it's your opinion I don't give a fuck <laughs> something like that and yeah <laughs> otherwise yeah I'm about to end this recording um hope you enjoyed it somehow all right Kevin's 202 signing off Ooh.